No, it's herself, herself alone. And on Christmas Eve, imagine you being here alone, like an old man with our wife or children, Amelia. I'm mortified to see you like this, I am. On Christmas Eve, alone, all on your own, Eo. On the day that is today. Where was I when I saw that wedding? Uh, yes, in Paris, when I was there. It was, it was quite a fancy restaurant. And I remember it because the bride was sitting alone, reading a child's comic. And the groom, well, he was playing poker with the best man. It took my breath away. I said to myself, well, what chance do these two have in a marriage if this is how they begin it? How will it end? Yes, playing cards on his wedding day, the happiest day of anybody's life. So what, you're going to say? She was reading a comic. But it's not. It's not. And you know yourself. Amelia. You should have held on to him. I sincerely think that. Do you remember? Wasn't it my good self who said the same to you? Forgive, forgive. Do you remember? If only you had listened to me, you could have been happily hitched by now with a lovely home of your own. Remember last Christmas? Who was that happy woman to be taken to meet his parents down in the country? What was it you said? A happy home life, that's what I want. To hell with theatre, I'm getting out of it. Your very words, my poor child. A happy home life, that's the making of us. You know, the theatre, <laughs> gosh. And children, your own children, you know yourself. Well, no, you don't, do you? Forgive and forgive. Oh, these are for my brood. See what I got for them. Look at this. Look, it's for Lisa. Look at her making eyes and the way her head moves. Yes. And, and this little toy gun is for Maya. <laughs> what? What? Did I scare you? You thought I wanted to shoot you, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. What are you thinking of, girl? I could well believe you wanted to shoot me. I did cross your path and I, I know, I know. You can't forget and forgive, but you should know by now, it honestly wasn't my fault. I did not get the theater to replace you. I didn't, no matter what you think, and you think I was responsible. Well, no point wasting my breath arguing. You won't hear me. Oh, and for my love, my husband. See the tulips? I embroidered them with my own fair hand. Tulips. I detest them. You'd have them stitched everywhere. Hasn't he got such tiny feet? Yes, hasn't he? And the way he walks, so like a dancer, yes? Well, but then again, you've never seen him wearing slippers. <laughs> and will I show you how he walks, you know? <laughs> but my dear, <laughs> when he gets cross, he stamps his foot just like that. Damn, damn, damn. Does no one in this house know how to make a cup of coffee? Good Lord, what idiot left the lights on in here blazing? And, and say, there was a bit of breeze blowing under the door and his feet are cold. It's, is there nobody in this house capable of lighting a fire? <laughs> Oh, and when Holmes the hero and he, he can't find his slippers, little Maya's hitting them under the sideboard while well, the shouts and, oh, no, no, it's, it's evil to make a mockery of my husband. The man is a dote, a complete dote, the kind of man you should have hooked, Amelia. <laughs> You're laughing. Why? Why? Y yeah? He's, he's honest with me. 
he is loyal he is i and i know faithful i do he told me you're smiling why the smile he told me himself that fran that bitch she made a pass at him can you believe the neck of her if she walked through my door i would blind her thank god i heard of it from his own lips imagine if i heard it through gossip and she wasn't the only whore i, I know what is it about my lover boy why do women throw themselves at him? Why do they think they can, you know, that he could get a good word for them at the theatre because he has the ear of you know who? Do they think he would do that for them? Do you? Do you? You. I'm never completely certain about you. I don't know. I, I do know he hasn't a passing interest in you. None. I know that. I, I also think you wish him ill. I always have. Amelia, come and eat with us tonight. Show you're not in pain because of us, because of me at any rate, yes? I, I detest falling out with old friends, falling out with you. It's not right. Is it because I crossed your path that time and I just don't have a clue? When I met you, I was frightened of you. It's funny that we became friends. I watched you like a hawk. That's how terrified I was. No matter where I went, I had you stuck to my side. I called you my friend to stop you becoming my enemy. When you came to our house, I, I panicked. I could see my husband loathed you. I felt not comfortable, as if the clothes I were wearing weren't my own size or shape. I bent over backwards to make him be kind to you, but he wouldn't be. Then you go off and get engaged, and, and you and my husband suddenly become great pals. Why? Were you frightened too? Frightened to show what you really felt when you were available? So, so what happened next? Hmm? Does it seem strange I wasn't jealous? I wasn't. Remember my first, our first child, the christening? I asked you to be godmother. I told him I let him kiss you and that distressed you. It did. Though I didn't take heed of it then, it hasn't, it hasn't crossed my mind until, it hasn't entered my head until this precise moment. Why are you silent? You've not spoken. Since I came here, not a word from you. You sit there, you let me babble on, you're staring at me. You worm all these little pieces and bits out of me. You're winding me around your finger like a silken thread. You're enjoying all my doubts, aren't you? Why? Can I guess? Why did you call off your engagement? You never set foot in our house after that. Why? Why won't you come eat with us tonight? No, don't say anything. There's no need. I see it now. I see why why you, why you, you, yes, I see. It makes sense now. It is. Damn you. Why am I sitting at the same table as you? Tulips. You like tulips and I detest them. So I must embroider them on his slippers because you, you, you yes, I know. Now, I know why we spent that last summer and uh, so far from the sea. You detest the sea. I know why my son, my, my son has your father, Edward's name. I know why I wear your favorite colors, read what you like to read, drink what you like to drink, eat what you eat. And this, this may as well be your cup of chocolate. I know, I know, hard, hard. 
Everything you wanted, you got from me. Everything. You have eaten me skin and bone. You have peeled my soul like an apple and let it rot. I wanted to get away from you and I couldn't. You steal me with your witch's eyes. You pin me down. You spit your serpent's poison at me. If I had wings, you'd slice them from me. If I went to water, you'd tie my feet and let me drown. If I tried to swim, I'd sink deeper and deeper until I reached rock bottom. That's where you're lying in wait for me. I can feel your crab's claws. You're waiting. You. I, I hate you. I do hate you. Hate. Sitting there, not a word out of you. Silent, sedate, selfish. Do you notice if it's night or day? Do you feel if it's winter or summer? Do you hear if people laugh or cry? You don't. Because you cannot hate and you cannot love. You are a worn out woman. You cannot catch a man. You can't win a man. You have to lie and wait for him. You sit stuck in your rat hole. That's what, that is what we call your corner, by the way. Look at you. You scavenge your way through newspaper stories, feeding on whoever is in bo bother and whoever is dying or whoever has been kicked out of a play. Look at you, living for the bad word, looking out for the boat that's sinking and waving to whoever is being dragged down with it, waving for the dead to drop in front of you, always waiting and waiting. You've been destroyed and you're evil because you're destroyed. Poor woman, sad, sad woman. Amelia, Amelia, evil and sad. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> How can I be angry with you, even if I wanted to be? You can't help it. You're a lost child, weak, weak as a baby. Your little fling with my husband, it doesn't take a wrinkle out of me. And if you taught me to like drinking chocolate, so what? Someone else would have it anyway. <laughs> Who cares? And, and chocolate is supposed to be good for the body, yes? And so I dress as you do. Good, so be it, voila. It made my husband love me all the more. Too bad for you, all the better for me. And if I can... Put two and two together, I'd guessed you have lost him. Did you hope I'd fade away? You're the one that's fading. And now look where you've landed, lamenting if it ever happened. Me, I have no regrets. No point crowing. He wants something no one else has put value on. Who knows, maybe... When push comes to shove between the two of us, I'm the stronger. Maybe at this precise moment, you never got anything from me. You gave and you gave. Do you remember believing in fairy tales? The wicked thief? You fell into your beauty sleep, but I got away with the gold. When you touch anything, it falls apart from you. It breaks. It's barren. All your tulips, all your traumas, they can't keep a man in your arms. And I've kept mine. You never learned about this life from your books, and I did learn. You had a father who had a name, but I have a son with a father and your father's name. You're still being very quiet, aren't you? Quiet, quiet, why? One time I believed it so because you were strong. Maybe you just had nothing to offer for you have no brain in your body. <laughs> tulips, your tulips, I'll take them home with me. You couldn't hear what people were saying. You looked and didn't listen, I did. You're dry as dust, you'll break down and blow away. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, 
mistress. You've been good to me, Amelia. Thank you. You taught my husband how to love. I'm going to go home to him now to love. Mm.